Hey, what is up guys, Bonfiggy here, and today I got for you guys my second fastest mobs of the day, 110 seconds on the map dome, 6v6 domination, and I kind of did want to point that out, because before it being 6v6, it's actually a pretty fast mob, and you can really drop consistently fast mobs on the map dome, as long as you know the spawn systems, and that's one of the things that I really wanted to point out, because it seems like half the time when you kill someone, they spawn right behind you, and you just really have to pay attention, as long as you're playing smart and playing aggressive, you can really drop those fast mobs pretty consistently, that's just something that I found. Now, I want to say thanks to you guys for 400 likes on my latest video. That's a pretty insane number for a channel my size, and I can tell you right now, if I keep on getting that kind of feedback, I'm going to be uploading at least one video a day for you guys, and you guys definitely earned it. You really do deserve it. So I just want to say a quick thanks for that. Now, I also want to point out that I'm using the PP90 in this gameplay, and I got a couple comments on my last video of the 300 comments that I actually got, which was insane as well. I want to say thanks for all those comments as well. I read every single one of them too. But of the 300 comments, I got a few of them asking me to use some crappy guns, kind of like the PM9 or the L86. And, you know, to that, I really don't like using those guns. This is one of the things that makes Modern Warfare 3 even more frustrating than it already is. But I guess I could try for some PM9 mobs. I actually got pretty close already. I tried it right after I read that comment, and I got on a 19. So I could try for a few, but I really do enjoy using good guns like this and just going for those really fast mobs. And plus, it seems like a lot more entertaining to watch these really fast mobs than just to watch like a three or four minute PM9 mob. That's just my opinion though. Let me know what you guys think about that. And this video is already wrapping up now. The Moab was pretty close. I really had to play pretty aggressive at the end here. And I did get pretty lucky because the game ends right as I call in the Moab. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. And if we could get 300 likes again, that would be awesome. Right there, I pick up the Moab. And that's it guys. Peace.